In this video, we are going to solve from some of the numericals given in the textbook of Mara State Board syllabus. Solving numericals doesn't mean that it is only a mathematical calculation. By solving numericals, you are able to get clear-cut understanding of the concepts. Therefore, solving mathematics is also the evaluation what you understand from the content in the subject. We will go one by one. The first numerical is based on the error and the combination or error or propagation of error. What is the stem of the question? The masses of two bodies are measured to be 15.7 plus or minus 2 kilogram and 27.3 plus or minus 0.3 kilogram. What is the total mass of the two and the error in it? What we know is that here a plus or minus delta a is equal to 15.7 plus or minus of 2 kilogram. B plus or minus delta B is equal to 27.3 plus or minus 0.3 kilogram. Then what z is equal to? Z is equal to A plus B. That is the sum of the two. If Z is equal to A plus B, then Z plus or minus of delta Z is equal to A plus B plus delta A plus delta B plus or minus delta A plus delta B. Therefore, it comes out to be equal to 15.7 plus 27.3 plus or minus it's 0.2 plus 0.3. Therefore, the total comes out to be equal to 7 plus 3 10 carried 1 8 plus 5 13 carried 1, 3 plus 1, 4. It is 43 point plus or minus of 0.5 kilogram. This is the total mass of the two and error in it. Total mass of the two is 43 kilogram and error in it is plus or minus of 0.5. Uh, this is very simple uh, numerical in which we have to find out the sum of the total, sum of the masses of the two and the error in it. The next one is the distance travelled by an object in time 100 plus or minus 1 second means the time is given to you the time given is hundred plus or minus one second at the same time the distance is given to you distance is 5.2 plus or minus of 0.1 meter. Now, the real values we are expecting here are 100 and 5.2 and these are the possible errors in it. Therefore, first, what is the speed and its error? 
at first we will find out the speed we know that what speed is it is distance covered divided by time taken the distance covered is 5.2 meter and the time taken is 100 therefore it should be equal to 0 0.052 meter per second this is the speed and what is the maximum possible error in the measurement of the speed the maximum possible error in the measurement of the speed is delta v which is equal to delta s divided by delta t it should be equal to like this one it is delta s divided by s delta s divided by s plus delta t divided by t uh, it is additive one the errors are always additive therefore we will take it as delta v is equal to what's the distance covered here it is 5.2 and the possible error is 0.1 divided by 5.2 and then plus of uh, 1 divided by uh, 100 uh, it should be equal to uh, 0.1 divided by 5.2 uh, it's come out to be equal to 0 0.019 plus 1 divided by 100 uh, it comes out to be equal to 0 0.01 and right? the total comes out to be equal to 0 0.029 uh, this is the possible error in the measurement of the uh, speed This is again a good numerical. I will read numerical first and then we will see how to solve this one. An electron with charge E enters in a uniform magnetic field B with the velocity V. The velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field. The force on the charge E is given by the magnitude of forces B into E into V. Obtain the dimensions of B. Dear friend, you should remember that whenever any charge enters in a magnetic field, then a force acts on the charge and the force acting on the charge is given by the formula that is B into Q into V. Here electron is entering in the field, therefore the charge of the electron we are taking as E. Now, First, we will determine the dimensions of E. We know that what current is, current is rate of flow of charge, therefore current I is equal to Q divided by T. Therefore, Q is equal to, it is I into T. Therefore, dimensions of Q is equal to dimensions of E. Q is the charge here in this case. Electron is the charge, therefore dimensions of electron R, uh, I raised to 1, I stands for current and uh, T raised to 1, uh, here capital T uh, stands for the dimensions of the time. This is about the dimension of the charge electron. Then what the formula we got, the formula we got is uh, F is equal to uh, B into E into V. Therefore, I will write here uh, what B is equal to B is equal to F divided by E into V. And hence, we will write the dimensions of B is equal to uh, dimensions of F uh, divided by dimension of E into uh, dimension of V. 
we know what are the dimensions of force dimensions of a force are m1 l1 and t minus 2 9 the dimension of charge r uh, i1 and t1 and dimension of the velocity r l1 and t minus 1 now here what you will know is that the uh, velocity is rate of change of displacement it unit is meter per second for meter it is l1 and for per second it is t minus 1 these are the dimensions of uh, the magnetic induction here in the denominator what you will see that it is t to the power 1 and t to the power minus 1 therefore uh, plus 1 and minus 1 uh, the powers uh, in product there is some of the product uh, powers therefore plus 1 minus 1 equal to 0 therefore t in the denominator is 0 uh, what here is l1 l1 in the denominator and l1 in the numerator in division there is subtraction of the powers therefore l1 minus l l minus 1 uh, plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled therefore uh, what remains at the end is uh, the dimensions of b the dimensions of b should be equal to uh, from here i will take uh, m is uh, independent there is no m in the denominator what about l1 from the denominator there is again l1 this l1 and if from the denominator l1 when it comes in the numerator it is minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 0 therefore it is l0 now here t plus 1 t minus 1 mm -hmm. the sum of the two will be t0 therefore what remains is here t minus 2 and what what is uh, there in the denominator is i and it should be equal to i raised to minus 1 uh, this is the expected answer uh, the dimensions of the magnetic induction m1 l0 t minus 2 and i minus 1